Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Space Engineers plus me, episode 58. I'm Enigmius, and today, you're probably wondering why the video is so damn short. It's because the last couple of days have been spent uh, busily working through menus and interface things, and not really so much playing the game, I guess you could say. Technically, it's all playing the game, but first thing we had to do, once we got the gondola done, this is the gondola ship that's going to be carrying the drills and used for mining off of the Atlas, is we have to get it on the simulated track ship, which is basically uh, something that duplicates the shape of the track ship, but is held in place attached to the station that we made a long time ago, specifically for the purpose of testing this whole setup. We've actually dismantled the previous track ship so that we could uh, get it out of the way, basically. And you can see this is actually sped up four times because the actual process of getting it in place and uh, getting everything set up the way that we want it to be, very, very slow. Because if you make a mistake, if you're off a little bit in your trajectory and you're going too fast, things break, things smush. It's not at all ideal. So that was kind of a good uh, outcome. For this whole process but I, I before i was willing to turn off the lift thrusters i felt the need to reinforce the whole thing because i had this just sinking feeling that as soon as i released the lift thrusters it was going to snap the whole thing off we added another large atmospheric thruster since the last episode so now it has two with just one large atmospheric thruster and two large ion thrusters it had barely and i mean barely enough thrust to lift off the ground and continue accelerating in an upwards direction but as soon as you stopped and tried to go side to side it would start to fall that's how close it was <laughs> it didn't want to be uh, doing what we needed it to do so we added another thruster that's made things a lot easier you can see now this is kind of what it looks like and this is what it looks like when it's under its own power using forward and reverse thrusters alternately to keep the speed down. That's, it may sound like a trivial little thing, just don't make it move fast, but we don't have the option of specific speed controls. All we have is thrust on or off, and we can change the override setting, but that's not really a solution. So what we're doing here is we're setting it up so that it turns on the thrusters that will push it in the direction we want it to go for three seconds, then it turns them off, and then it turns on the thrusters in the opposite direction for one second, just to slow everything down. And it, it, it's still moving a little bit when the, the reverse thrusters are done firing, but realistically speaking, it kind of keeps it at almost uh, a zero gain. In fact, if you were to do this at the regular speed, you would see that we're getting about between one and two meters gain for every cycle that it does for this thing. Now, when you consider, that we're doing this with the intent of carrying drills on the underside of the ship they're going to be mining, it's actually not bad. That's That to me is a pretty good speed to make sure we're giving the drills enough time without giving them too much time. You know what I mean? We don't want it sitting there idling for no particular reason. We want it to be able to do what it needs to do. Uh, and at the same time, we don't want it to go bashing through the ends of the track and causing all kinds of damage because it was going too fast. So there's a few changes that I need to make to the tuning. And I mean, I would show you guys all the different setups and the timers and all these other things, but so much of it is going to change. Even if it's just fine tuning and tweaking between now and when the blueprints are available, it's easier to just show you that we're making progress with this, is like I say, four times and it took us that long to get from the front to the back. And that's good. We're happy with that. So there's a few tweaks. I made a little list for myself that I need to change. We're going to change the way that the connectors are aligned so that it'll have an opportunity to properly align with the connectors on the track ship to feed stuff from its cargo container off of the gondola ship so that we keep the weight down on the gondola and uh, a few other minor details. So next episode, hopefully we'll have the track ship set up on the Atlas and we can do the final testing on the gantry. So if you want to be notified when I add that episode, uh, subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media. Links for that and in the information bo block box below the video. Leave your comments and feedback. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.